Welcome back guys. Forecasting is very important for any business. When it comes to numbers, Excel is one of the best tools to help us with the numbers, especially when it comes to sales, cash, overdues, forecast, and future. Excel is very useful. I'm going to take you again to one of my example spreadsheets. And here you can see there are some cash data that I've received, let's say, in this month. I want to see how much more cash I will receive in the rest of this month from my customers. Very simple and easy. I'm going to share with you this technique, but you have to promise me that you will practice this and you will bring innovation to this and share with me in the comment section. Let's move on. So I have the data here. I'm going to simply select the data. So first of all, you have to select the data. And then in the data tab on the front, you will see this is your ribbon. And the ribbon you can see at the end forecast part what if analysis we did it in past as well forecast sheet let's have a look at this just click on it the moment you click on it you're able to see now a trend so excel is showing you some trend here and there is a forecast end date here as well now when it comes to the forecast end date you can extend it as well so let's say i would like to extend it till end of this month so i got a more extended forecast for myself um, it might not be enough for you. Uh, you can click on the options and you can see multiple other options as well. For example, um, confidence interval. Um, also, a seasonality, it is detecting automatically. You can change it. For example, if I turn it manually five days, you can see it has quite a shift here. I can make it to seven days as well. And you can see it is um, differentiating again. So let's let's keep it automatic so we have a certain forecast with some risk and opportunity you can see on the top and bottom which is fairly judged by excel based on the numerics we have you can aggregate it using average county etc etc median it depends but let's keep it to average and then we will ask excel to create it for us so let's click on it and there you go excel has created a forecast cache for us as well in the coming days you can see uh, low confidence balance, upper confidence balance as well. So this is the kind of an risk and opportunity model, as you can see here. But fairly speaking, it has given us a very, very reasonable uh, number going forward. You can utilize it for, for your, and, and probably it is taking the trend as well. So this is something you have to judge. So you can play with the data. You can bring the trend here. I have brought a trend here. For example, you can see I've repeated 2000 in multiple places um, you can bring your trend as well you can even use your own data to see what, how it goes the best would be if you have a data set keep it there make an excel forecast and then judge it check it how is it working i'm pretty sure you'll enjoy using this little feature in excel um, quite handy i must say guys if you are a first time user please do not forget to subscribe the channel I would again recommend you to practice this one, use your own data, and, and um, I look forward to speak to all of you again. Till then, stay safe and take very, very good care of yourself. See you now. Ciao, ciao.